So Vanessa, um, years ago, when I was young in the Valley, I've been here 21 years, but I was very young and I was at, um, working at Trevina at the time, yeah. I fell in love with this brand called Radio, Radio Coteau. And amazing. Eric Sussman has had a, a, an amazing career making wine throughout the world, put it into effect. And ever since I've held it as, as a standard, not only for Syrah, but for Pinot Noir, like yes. La Neblina bottling, uh, a wine that every time I find it, I come across and, and it's always at home. I try to keep it in stock. But uh, so after much talks with him uh, back and forth, he allowed us uh, an allocation of the County Line Syrah. So when the sample first came, as you know, we're big Syrah fans. My mouth water, I could not, I did not wait. I came and opened the bottle, cracked it right away. And I was really, um, really satisfied. And then it was like an old lost friend to me. So I fell in love with it. And, and then when we came with the, the old world versus new world with the wine club uh, idea, this just completely made sense against an iconic brand like his Jabolet. Absolutely. So. And you know, I, so this is, uh, I've been in the Valley for 11 years. Uh -huh. So not quite as long as you, but I also discovered this when I moved to Napa. So, you know, uh -huh. used to be a wine buyer in New York City, but I have yeah. to tell you, I was not familiar with County Line until I moved here. Uh -huh. So it really felt like, oh, I'm an insider now. Like I know about this amazing wine yeah. um, from, from again, the maker of, of Radio Coteau, which is so respected. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah. Just, and, and I, I used to love, um, when I was working re on a brick and mortar retail here in Napa Valley, I used to love to introduce this wine because people were so happy. Absolutely. It's, it's talk about varietal correctness and the cool climate sites that he's found across the Sonoma Coast region mm -hmm. to make this wine. Mm -hmm. I mean, not to mention the minuscule production, which in theory mm -hmm. basically goes all to our club. Exactly, exactly. And I'm really getting on the nose it just has that um, mm. sort of bewitching Syrah aromatics where mm -hmm. it's so diverse with, with fruit, but savory, herbal, floral. Mm. Um, it just really runs the gamut. That's what, Syrah is probably my favorite variety just to talk about. And sometimes like I haven't even tasted it yet. Because she has just, so just, many descriptors. Exactly, it's so complex. Absolutely. This one, I would say, it, it follows the line of, um, of Northern Rome. Mm. As, we, as yeah. we spoke about in the Jabalé, but it's turned up. This is that Instagram filter mm. that just brightens everything really high, or let's pretend you have the Fifth Symphony, fifth symphony playing in your stereo at home with yes. all the speakers turned up where everything's in balance. And yes, just, and you've uh, got the treble and the bass. Absolutely. And everything in between. And will you show me how to use that filter on Instagram? Because I, oh, I, I sure <laughs> will. Let's look at it right now. <laughs> But really, delicious wine. Um, it's so much violet on, mm -hmm. on the nose. Um, and it has really that sort of um, kind of s smoked game note to it. But it's oh almost like it's had a rub with like some brown sugar on it before you yes. smoke it. Um, you know, so. Oh, yeah. It's got a little bit of like flamme on, mm -hmm. on top, like uh, cr uh, creme caramel or something. Yeah. But on top of the, all these flowers and a, a beautiful arrangement. What would your grandma pair this with? Oh my God, I don't know. But musically wise, I would pair it with the first time I, I heard you say, sing an aria. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> if I had to put something like that. As far as food, um, I love to do this um, pork tenderloin. Very simple, not something that you're going to taste at a, at, a at a Michelin restaurant. But I love to do this um, pork tenderloin. Overnight, I'll put a little bit of like peach uh, preserves, put it in there, a little bit of like hot spices, mm -hmm. crushed red peppers, just for balance, yeah. leave it overnight and then just do a quick grill with the char, Ooh. slice it while it's still juicy. And this is this is his best friend. Wow, honestly, that sounds delicious, but I would drink this by itself. <laughs> it's so good. Any day, any day. Any day, I wish they made it in six little bottles, litter bottles for us. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers.